What is up, YouTube? Today, we're going to be combining multiple Excel files into one Excel file using Power Query. I got Stefan Hitchin here, uh, economics student. I heard you've been having some issues here uh, combining Excel files. So tell me more about this data that you have, Stefan. Yeah, Alex, we've got some historical data on GDP for 30 different nations. And basically what I want to do is combine them all into one graph overlaying GDP and temperature and the relation there. So if you could help, that would be great. It uh, seems to all have four columns here. So we have date, GDP in uh, billions, it looks like, per capita, and then an annual percent change. And it seems like they all have these first 15 uh, rows here, which to me seem unimportant are these 15 rows important to you uh the only row that is important there is three which is the country all right so you can go into get data when i get data from a folder and we can literally just find your folder here and click open oh it looks like there's one file that's not recognizing the format of so looks like that's something we got to be cautious of so we'll delete that and uh, let's try this again and we'll start from scratch now that all of the files in there are csv so i'm going to pick the same folder again and let's transform the data i will click this again which should combine all of the files all right now we need to figure out how we want to combine it right, i'm just going to click okay and okay so we have all the files combined, but we have a bit of a problem where first 16 rows, we actually don't want. Also column three and four, we don't want. The nice thing is though, we have the file name here, which actually gives us the country. So we can filter this here. I mean, we could have done it earlier, but we can just filter out all of the blanks and that's going to fix part of that. We still have um, like a duplicate here where it has GDP twice, so we don't need that either. So we'll filter the blanks again. All right, so we need to actually now make the first, uh, the first row the header. So we'll click this. And we still have a little bit of filtering where we still have these like headers randomly throughout because it like stacks the, um, you know, we got the files stacked on top of each other and it has the header stacked on top of each other. So we can fix that in Power Query. Um, and this should have the data fully cleaned up. So if we click close and load, now we have all of these combined together as one table. Uh, so what would be the next steps from here now that we have this combined stuff? And um, so the next steps is to um, get rid of column D and E. Uh, so you don't want column D and, D and e. e? Yeah. Okay. So we can just actually go back into um, Power Query for a second. And uh, it's probably easiest just to delete that here. So let's delete uh, this one. And you see, as you delete it, they add a new uh, step here. And then we can remove annual percent change as well. And then why don't we just rename this to uh, file, file uploaded. The country is pretty consistently, it looks like the first, um, first thing left of the um, dash, which will make it easy for us to extract. In fact, if we want, we could even extract this right into Power Query right now. So might as well do that. We can go to transform and uh, there's extract and you can do text before delimiter. And uh, we could do before this dash. And now we just have the country. Uh, is that like, is this better for you where you just have the country like this? Yeah, that's perfect. All right. So let's click, um, go back to home. 
And if you click close and load, it's saving it back here now. So it's, so now we have this adjusted. That was pretty much it. That's how you combine a bunch of CSV files together. Steph went on to plot this all out. And I think he got a good grade on this assignment. Thanks for watching. Like, and subscribe.